Oh, so this is my favorite hoodie, representing my local gym, and somebody, either my cats or my kid, took the damn strings out. So you know what I mean, right? You've got your favorite hoodie and the strings come out. Like, what do you do? Like, is there a way to get them back in? If you do know, please let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here for a tutorial, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a much more effective way to add lighting and illuminate objects all in Photoshop. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills in this tutorial. I'm gonna show you a much more effective way to add realistic lighting effects, glow, illumination, all that stuff to an image in Photoshop. Now this is a trick that I learned a while ago. We've probably both missed it. We've played with the blending modes. We've not found the one that we wanted, that perfect one that illuminates an area in an image. There's one little checkbox that we all missed. We've all missed it. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that is in this tutorial. So we're gonna to jump to the screen now. And you can see I have an image in Photoshop. It's a little sailing boat with a with a lamp attached to it in a in a an ocean oceanic scene. If that's a word. Oh, that looks really sweet. So what we want to do is we want to add some light. So we'll go down here to the bottom of our layers panel, click new, and then grab our brush tool over here on the left. Now from the drop down at the top, we're going to click on this one here, soft round pressure opacity brush. This is like my favorite, right? I, I use this brush all the time for everything. And we'll just go and pick a color from the color picker. Let's bring that up. And it doesn't matter what color we start with. We'll go with like a yellowy orange or something. Something very reminiscent of light and lamps. And it looks like there's some kind of lighting or fairy lights or something in the bottle anyway. So we have our brush. We can, of course, go back up here and adjust the brush size. But this takes ages, opening that menu every single time. So just use the left and right square brackets on your keyboard to increase or decrease the size of your brush. So here we go, you can see left and right square brackets. Make that nice and big. And we can see with the circle here indicating where this is gonna go. We can hover around something like this. So we're gonna illuminate the area around the lamp and just single left click. And you can click again if you want something a little bit more vibrant. But I'm just gonna do one for now. And there we go. Now, typically, uh, when I do this, I create like a lot of composites, a lot of dramatic scenes in Photoshop. I use lots of lighting effects and I get to the point where I want to add lighting to something and I will go and grab my blending mode drop down. And of course, with the latest version of Photoshop, you can get a live preview as you hover down so you don't have to pick one. And we can see they look, they look cool. That one looks kind of cool. Overlay and soft light are really good, especially if you're doing like composite work. But oh, that's pretty intense. That's like an inferno, that one. But none of them are really quite right. They just don't seem to fit the scene. I, I don't even know what this one is. I don't know what that is. And that's the problem. So I've done this so many times. I'm sure you have as well. You've gone down the blending list uh, and you can't find that one that you want. So there is a trick to this. Overlay and soft light are pretty close, but they're just not vibrant enough. They're not, uh, like they don't have that glow of light around everything that's around them. So if you're doing like a dark scene, try using color dodge. It doesn't look great, I'll be honest, it doesn't look great, but if we right click on this layer and go to blending options, you'll see this window pop up here. And the default blending options window, we've got a bunch of options. We have this option here, transparency, shapes, layer. If we just deselect that, boom. You could see that the light suddenly becomes clipped more like around the kind of center of the image and it highlights and emphasizes the brighter colors whilst kind of setting back the darker colors. So like I say, if you are doing like a dark scene or something, you can see we went from that to that. Now it still feels a little bit overpowering, but we can change that. In fact, I'm gonna name my layer first, just cause layer one's gonna annoy me, we'll go with light. So if you want to change the color, go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and we get this window pop up. Now, of course, we can adjust the hue slider and you can see in real time exactly how that changes. Depending on your image, some colors do like become a bit too vibrant and they kind of get blown out a little bit like that one. 
but there is something we could do about that. So I want this blue here. It's far too blown out. Uh, this looks pretty cool, actually, like something you get out of a game. But we can bring the saturation down, and there we go. You can see bringing it down. So you still get that, like, that, that light, that illumination, which looks a bit more authentic, but it just takes some of the punchiness out. In fact, you can even mess around with the lightness. You could bring that down if you want and bump the saturation up. So mess around with these sliders. Just find something that works for you. I think I'm going to stick with blue, actually. That looks pretty cool. But yeah, color dodge is always a really good one uh, when you're doing like lighting on a dark background or an object that's on a dark background. And then that checkbox, that transparency shapes layer checkbox, oh, that is, that is the trick to, uh, to getting much more authentic lighting. And there we go, quick Photoshop tutorial, but something that really helped me when I learned this a while ago. Just helps you get much more realistic lighting if you're doing things like composites or you wanna add lighting to a scene that doesn't already have it. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.